My favorite F-mount lens on the Z-mount system. With so much great choice out there, there are some amazing lenses to have. In this video, we're gonna be covering one of my favorites. I'm gonna be taking these out and about, show you through the lens how it performs and show you the examples of this stunning lens. Welcome back folks, it is great to have you guys here once again. In this video, we're gonna be covering one of my favorite F-mount lenses for the Z system. So a little bit of context behind the lens and I'm gonna show you guys today. I actually owned this lens back when I had a DSLR camera, the D750, the D500, and I absolutely loved it. Used it for a lot of sporting events, wildlife, all that kind of thing, and it was just my favorite lens. There was just something special about that lens. But when I decided to switch, completely too mirrorless and go to, go to the Z system. I decided there and then to get rid of all of my F-mount lenses, all of the DSLR kit and just dive straight in to the mirrorless system. And I do regret doing that with a couple of lenses. Reason being is that there's just some lenses out there that you just have this connection with that they just produce this image certain types of images that you connect with and it just looks so good and the lens that we're going over the day that is one of those lenses there are a couple of other lenses which i haven't actually bought back yet but i'm planning on buying back so i'm going to be sharing those with you also because they're just this, there's just that character within the, these lenses that i really really miss the z mount system is brilliant the glass is just flawless crisp super sharp it's just perfect but i just wanted a little bit of character in a lens, something that kind of has a little bit of flaw, something that I was just missing, that I didn't realize I was missing until I went back and had a look at these images the other day and realized that I just really loved the look of the images that this lens produced. The lens that we're talking about is the 300mm f4. This is an absolutely stunning lens. Like I say, I owned this when I had the DSLR, the D750 and the D500. I sold it all and I've only just recently bought it back about three months ago, four months ago perhaps, um, and I'm so glad I did. I've really missed shooting with this lens. It is a super fast autofocus and lens and it works flawlessly on the Z system, even though it's adapted. It works really, really well. So happy of getting it back. Like I said, I've been out and shooting some wildlife. I'm gonna take you guys out and show you how it performs so you guys can see the results straight through the camera. It's just a fantastic all round lens. So if you're somebody who has a lot of Z mount lenses lying about and you're considering getting rid of them, just think carefully. If there's lenses there that do really grab you, that have that certain character, that certain look that you like the look of, I would highly recommend keeping a hold of those lenses. So I went about, as you can see here, down out for a walk with my son. You can see how well it's working using the IEF on the Z6 II. It's working flawlessly well. You can see the results of the images. Even when I'm shooting in dynamic area AF, it has great results as well. Super quick autofocus. And I tend to shoot this lens all the time at F4, even though it is slightly soft at F4. I just like the look that it produces. I just like that. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that I absolutely love. So I tend to shoot it at F4 majority of the time. I took it down to my local park the other day. And as you can see, I recorded the EVF. You guys can actually see how well this lens performs. Now it's a 300 mm lens. So obviously it's not the biggest of reaches, but I tend to set my Z6 too with one of the function buttons to crop mode so I can crop right in to around about 450 mm lens. I know you're actually cropping into the pixels as well, but to be fair, I've printed them out and they still look absolutely stunning. So if somebody had a Z7 II, being able to crop that in and still getting that, I think you're still getting about a 20 megapixel fail on the Z7 II, um, absolutely perfect. You're still gonna have all of that lovely detail within your image. But as you can see, it's performing really well using the subject tracking on the birds. It's able to obviously hook on, not lose focus and take some beautiful, beautiful images whilst I was down there. This was all just a test. It was just a walkabout because I was shooting that for a slightly different video that I've just posted. I'll pop a link to a card above. You can go and check that out. But I thought whilst doing that, I would share this lens with you guys because you may not be aware of it. People who are brand new to mirrorless might not be aware of good Z mount, uh, good F mount lenses of years gone by. And this is definitely one of them. I will be sharing other lenses that I'm hoping to buy back soon from the F mount uh, range. And I'll share that in a video as well. So like I say, people who are new to the Z mount will be aware of F mount glass that is available to purchase for your Z mount system. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like I say, if you have got F-mount glass, think carefully about getting rid of it. Make sure you make the right decision. 
don't do what I do, get rid of it and then have to go and buy it back again. So with that being said, folks, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, flick that notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted. And I'll see you folks in the next one. See you then.